morning, my people. Good afternoon. Good evening. We don't come again. Oh, this one, look, Benge. Ha! He hit that bar for this one. Shehukuti does come again. You know, that guy is fearless. <laughs> when they arrested him, they, they said they have caught him to silence him. Now he's out. And he found out a lot of things from that police station, from that police force. <laughs> hey, Nigeria police. Mm when we kill them, if we buy them, you say these people are causing problem in their region. If you kill them, you have killed a kidnapper. Do you get this one now? I hope it sounds well well. Listen to Sheo Kuti and I will be right back. Good afternoon, that they do me bad. Now, I can expose the things I found out inside the cell. I will say I found out, you know, if you know panty, now two cells different panty. Cell one and cell two. Now cell two, they put all the, you know, misdemeanor, gentle, all the, if you're a celebrity, when they arrest, you know, you don't sleep for a office, they when you tell them they won't put you for sale, they'll put you for sale too. But most of them are a office that they sleep. Me, I don't sleep for a You know what? I won't die. But when they are discovered for sale, why? When they put me with all the hardened criminals, the murderers, the killers, the kidnappers, you see, all the kidnapping group get police inside. All the kidnappers with inside say, why with me? Police, they inside them. In fact, that the police, they be their ringleader. I swear down. No group of kidnappers would that say with me, we don't get police member. We don't arrest, we deal with them. Hmm? They don't know what they are, what the police deal with us there, or they defy the police, you don't meet her. One crew, eh, not even, pre they don't catch them. Prison water, now he carry them, escape. In the deep prison, what are open gates? The bitch So what I call they call arrest the water with them. So what I say call this I <laughs> if I say what with them. All of us did it. Yeah. Facts. And now bring it to my point. This is gonna be a short life. And anyone anybody wants to be the government will take their head, knock bamboo, Mickey, uh, knock kuta. We go dive a hop transformer. The biggest group of kidnappers for Nigeria, the Nigeria police. All of us have been kidnapped by Nigerian police. All of us. What does it mean to kidnap a person? What does it mean to be kidnapped? Somebody carry you against your will, right? And then somebody pay money to release you to that person. Yes, kidnappers, they call their own uh, ransom. Police, they call their own bail. But bail is only official. And bail is for free. Nobody will take money from you to bail you. Shouldn't pay for bail. So anytime you give police money, that's not bail. That's ransom. Bail is free. So if you're in Nigeria, where somebody don't hold you, and you don't pay that person for them to leave you, you have been kidnapped. Let's rewind back five, six, six years ago in this country. They arrested a man called Evans. They arrest one man. They say his name is Evans. They say Evans is the number one kidnapper, kidnap kingpin of this whole world. They say nobody they kidnap for Nigeria past Evans. Brothers and sisters, since they don't arrest that Evans till now, since they arrest Evans till now, has kidnapping reduced or increased? They say he's the mastermind of all the kidnap. They say Evans alone, and they commit over 50% of all the kidnapping they have for Nigeria. Say him and his in crew. Say him and his crew. And they kidnap everybody, they arrest everybody, they finish. What happened after they arrest Evans for the kidnapping? Even the policeman, when they say arrest Evans, they hold on to, he said, good day. Now, now the policeman, they don't release. As they release him again, I'm not being so. Is it a coincidence that they release, what is that policeman's name? I do video. Kiari. I don't, I don't forget his first name. But I know the last thing that Kiari, I do want video call, where I say, if you want to hush by Kiari, because now he has a hush puppy. They call this in a super cop. That time they call the man we arrest Evans. He's super cop. You know, he's somebody just let us in a business partner. Because at the end of the day, when they arrest that Kiari, no crime. We did not charge him for. No crime. We did not charge Abba Kiari for. Yes, that's his name, Abba Kiari. There is no crime in this country. Drug dealing, money laundering, 419, kidnap everything. And they the for head. And they release him. And kidnapping has exploded again. So if Nigerian police is serious, about stopping kidnapping Nigerian government. Then let the Nigerian government workers stop kidnapping Nigerians first. Before me, I face kidnappers, we be criminals. We kidnap Nigerians. 
Let me face the ones who have me at the pay salary when they kidnap me. Everybody in Nigeria, except you are the child of one of these our oppressors, when they carry their own police around. You must have been kidnapped. I don't need to go for a road when I small one. We just stand in front of my fair my house. I can never forget. We stand in front of we will not give them shishi. They lock me for sale all night. Uncle Bear could not come pay me the next morning. We just stand in front of my fair house. We just talk boss. What is the scenario of being kidnapped? Not saying you're going to go on your own. Please go up, pack the motor, carry you, put inside the boot, lock the boot, or put inside the motor, lock the motor, carry you to go. Then somebody will come pay money to release you. Why are we shouting kidnap, kidnap, kidnap as if we are not all being kidnapped in this country? They don't go wear uniform, no uniform, not be police motor, just down for bus or white bus or blue bus. They will just park, carry boys, not inside the motor. If they go for a road, they will just block you with their motor. Why? Carry everybody inside their motor. You come with the pay their money to release your loved ones. You go pay them money to release your brother, pay them money to release your worker, your sister, your wife, your husband, your children. I was 16. I can never forget. I just did it to my friend's house. Jack, I'm not even give me the carry us. But Jack, I'm not getting crazy. Where, where? I tried to fear my mind even come because we were standing outside late. It was like one in the, one in the morning. Jack, don't make him come. He beat me say, yeah. So he said, we just follow him on the top one. Jack, I said, they carry us for doing not quite standing. Citizens of Nigeria, what have you done? You just, you just have to be standing. And the shop ends us. No sass again. Are you not still being kidnapped? Because people will do what they do. These people will do what they do. They come with guns, but see that because they're poor people. See, these people will go and carry poor people. Call it rich. For them to carry rich people, it has to be kidnapped. You can't just go and raid rich people now. Mm -hmm. So when they need to collect from Unaha, when our boys who on a train give gun, no give good work. When they need to come collect from Unaha, they need to come and kidnap. We don't say where they sweep up, sweep up under the carpet. Money they change and left and center. Kidnap and they collect 50 million, 40 million, 100 million. Nobody they see her. Person go drop the money, nobody they investigate. Money they move. Kidnap and they collect the money, we won't collect. Police will say they, they, they rescue the, this person for stories. Stories. Because I know, see, if we want to stop kidnap for this country, the first step is to stop the Nigerian police from kidnapping Nigerian people. Finish. That's the first step. The moment these our political elites can talk to their attack dogs, say, leave Nigerian people alone. And I will say kidnapping, go, 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 reduce. Yes, that's the moment kidnapping will be used in this country. The moment police themselves stop kidnapping Nigerian people. Mm -hmm. We need to stop kidnapping Nigerian people. We can now look at the criminals that are involved in kidnapping. But when it's a free for all for the institution, they are used to it. Then I will pursue the person from police. Or I will say, in go all the day, take break. Somebody will say, he's used to making money from kidnapping people every day. It's just as they don't enter their police car, they go for road, carry the innocent person. You must come pay money to be now. Seize the phone. Carry them go ATM. Don't be police, they do that one. Even the first armed robbery gang in this country. And in not be former police in Biyabino, or not be former police. They are out, they are group. What do you think that you name again, no? DSP Iyamu, exactly. DSP Iyamu. Uh -huh. Yeah. Police knife fooled the old Adini squad. But you know, they teach us history. We don't remember these things. We don't know that we need to clean up these institutions. Many of the rots, when they happen for our society, come out from the same institutions we supposed to stop the rots. So the uh, stealing of petroleum in Nigeria, is perpetrated by who mostly NMPC. NMPC was supposed to protect the oil of Nigeria. They are the biggest thieves of Nigerian oil. Banks were supposed to bring wealth to Nigeria. Banks were supposed to bring investment. They are the biggest thieves of Nigerian money. They are the biggest creators of poverty. If you be big man, we won't poor quick. Just go and go take loan. When our educational institution we're supposed to bring education and information to the minds of African people, rather give indoctrination, make literally they take bribe, they take blow job for graves, spreading stupidity into the institutions in this country. We're supposed to protect Nigerians. Those are the institutions gone gone that sabotage Nigeria. Any institution they create in this country, the thing we're supposed to do, now, that institution will be destroyed that thing. I never seen you know, this kind of before. Me, you don't worry. It is the institutions. The anti-African, because these people don't understand that many, these institutions, not many, all the institutions that Europeans have created are 
institutions to exclude black people from the benefits of those resources that the institutions control. You understand? Academia, what does it mean in Latin? It's exclusion. European creates these institutions for exclusion, to remove you, not to bring you inside. So they are happy to spread these institutions in your country, put black people to run the institutions, because these institutions will still create the same results. Go to America, and they tell them, go America, go black people area for America. The same thing with the experience as black people for Nigeria, not the experience. You see what we are saying? It is better said by Yoruba person. <laughs> country. It is better said by Sheukuti. Yes, they will not go and arrest him again. But if it is Igbo person that said this, hey, wala, 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 they will go the next day and pick up this guy. Look at uh, Ezebo in Lagos. Do you know his condition today? Do you know the condition they gave before they buried him in the first place? And they, I think they have picked him again. That is how Igbos are enslaved. And we keep saying it. People are still believing in one Nigeria. Maybe something is wrong with their heads. <laughs> I know something is wrong somewhere. So please let us um, keep sharing, like, and subscribe. God bless you.